Hello everybody, Mailman here. Dropped one tonight, a familiar hog. First, I went to a property right before dark. What I did, 99% illumination tonight. 10.03 is the moonrise. I'm coming at dark until 10, 11 o'clock, close to 11 o'clock. I actually got this hog, dropped this hog right before that moon came up. As I was going up and retrieving it, I looked back and the moon's coming up really bright now. So 99% illumination, I'm getting out here before that. First thing I did is I went to a field that's growing up pretty high right now. I mean, things are growing in South Carolina. We had 80 degrees today. Tomorrow is going to be 60 degrees. We have a 20 degree change coming. Another reason I wanted to get out here. Right at dark, before dark, I had a group of pigs come out. I could have took a shot at the boar at one point. The sow went right to the top of the ridge. I can't shoot to the top of the ridge. There's a bunch of little ones in there, but you can't see them in the weeds. I could not shoot the sow. The boar was heading toward me. I thought I was gonna get some really good daylight footage. That's what I'm going for. I wanted really close daylight footage. He turns and he heads up there really quick. They're both on top of the horizon when it gets dark. I wait for dark and I sneak up to them. Problem is I spooked about six deer. When they took off and they snorted, the hogs ran off. That's okay. I'll be back on those hogs. Nobody's on those hogs on that property. I'll be back on them. I slid back over here to get here before 10 o'clock. I wanted to be here right before the moon come up. Check this area. I got really nice big oak trees right here. This area was tore up before, about a year ago. A little over a year ago, the farmer put me on his property. I came into this area and I took 12 out of here. Over time, I took 12. One night, I think we took five. I brought a guy here. Really put a hurting on the hogs in this area. They laid off for about a year, but now they're back. They're in these oaks digging up. When I actually went out to the truck to get my camera set up, they're tearing up right along the road right now. So they're in this area hard. This is the same group me and Hunter ran into. I'll throw a little bit of video up here. Me and Hunter ran into this group up on top of the ridge as we were turkey hunting, and they came down with a bunch of babies. Drove by, caught the babies running. I parked, I looped back up around them, come into the wind, and I found the little ones. The little ones are going all over the place. I actually heard them, heard them fighting. So I'm up on top of the hill. I heard them fighting, started my stock down, got within view, started to see some little ones, saw two bigger ones, and they were moving in and out of the weeds. When the first big one hit the lane, I dropped them. Put that 243 Bear Creek Arsenal. That is my favorite rifle right now. Got the 6.5 set up. I'm gonna get my thermal on it. But right now that 243 is laying down hogs, waited for that hog to come right into that section and dropped it. The, the night ops in that 243, $300 upper from Bear Creek Arsenal, 243, and I'm dropping hogs and coyotes in their tracks. So I love that 243 setup. We got a 6.5 Grindle coming up next. And then I got a 223 coming. 6.5 Creedmoor. So we're really going to get into the 100 here. A lot of footage today. The daylight footage, the hogs I didn't get, but I will go back for them. And a lot of footage on this one. A lot of little babies in there. A sow and a bunch of probably 20 little ones got away. They'll be back here, so I'll get them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And many more coming. We're going to get our 100 here in South Carolina, and let's keep on dropping them.